parents, many students did not go to school today connected to bomb threats deemed not credible. Good afternoon. I'm Cheryl McHenry. James Brown is off. Districts all across Ohio received the threat. In our area, Oakwood, Clayton, Sydney, Greenville, Vandalia, and Mad River all sent messages to parents about the threat. News Center 7's Mike Campbell joins us live now. Mike, you talked with superintendents and parents about the threat that, again, we want to emphasize is not credible. That's correct, Cheryl. And in fact, we are in Kettering in front of Fairmont High School and classes here did go off as scheduled as normal today and in fact school day wrapping up just a few employees still with their vehicles in the lot at this hour now the threats to our knowledge did not cause any school closures in the miami valley but they certainly did create a lot of concern from um, a group claiming to be a russian terrorist and they said that there were um, you know placing bombs in schools Chad Wien is superintendent of Mad River Local Schools in Riverside. He had three principals in his district receive the threatening emails. They immediately began working with local, state, and federal law enforcement like the FBI. We did find that this was not a credible threat. Um, it looked like they, uh, they spoofed a listserv of email addresses and sent out this general message. Wien said his next step was putting together a message for parents and the school community. He said that is more challenging than it's ever been. Our, our families need to trust the school district communi communicating the information out versus, you know, what they may see on social media. Yeah, he went to school. Did his schools get a threat too? Yes. Laura Kosminski had a grandson in the first grade. He went to his Toledo area school Monday. She says she's pleased with her daughter's decision. But my daughter is a millennial, so she lived through 9-11, and she's like, yeah, they're not going to tell us, so yeah, you're going to school. Law enforcement sources told us at least 70 schools in Montgomery County alone received the threats. We know that in addition to Mad River schools, Vandalia Butler schools communicate with parents twice about the situation. Oakwood schools also let their community know what took place and what they were doing. I think people unfortunately are fearful of these things and um, I just want to make sure you know, our families and our community know that our schools are safe. We do everything we can to protect our kids every single day. Back live now. No reports of any problems at any local schools today. Now stay with us next hour because you won't want to miss what the Montgomery County Sheriff had to say when I asked him about finding about this problem on Sunday afternoon and what his department had to do to make sure that schools could be okay to open today. For now, reporting live in Kettering, Mike Campbell, News Center Seven. Everybody. Good